In this box is a tool that's an absolute must have for fixing a flat, especially on the go. Hey, what's going on e-bike riders? In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the original handlebar jack. It was actually suggested by one of you guys. In my video about fixing a flat on a Super 73, one of you told me to check this out. I went online to handlebarjack.com and bought it within minutes of the suggestion. Now the reason why it was suggested to me is that in the video about changing the tire on the Super 73, I talked about how I had to switch my display over when I flipped my bike onto the handlebars. Um, that way I didn't crush any of those components. And I also turned down my display so when it's resting on the handlebars, I don't risk damaging that. This handlebar jack actually saves those components so there's no loosening of brake levers, no loosening of displays. This should lift it up high enough so that when you flip your bike over, it protects those valuable components. So the unboxing portion of this video is gonna go quick. This is a pretty simple device, but if you watched my video about changing a flat tire on a Super 73, I said that I put some liners in the back tire and that I was gonna put them in the front tire, but I didn't show you. I'm also gonna put a tire liner in the front tire, but now that you know what to do, I don't need to show you that. Well, I actually didn't get around to putting that liner in my front tire, these Mr. Tuffy liners. I do have a link to these down below in the description, so if you wanna pick one up, it does help prevent from pokes in the tires and popping your tire. So I'm gonna unbox this and actually put this thing to use because I procrastinated in putting this liner in my front tire because as soon as I got my flat fixed on my back tire, I went for a ride. So let's dig into this thing. So I've got my trusty Leatherman here, the Skeletool. I'll put a link to this down below too. This thing is awesome. But uh, let's see what's in the box. All right, so you can pretty much see this is it. I love it when companies give stickers. It's just the icing on the cake. What else we got in here? Here's the tool. All right, so not much in the box. A nice little note. Uh, instructions on how to put together and of course the most important thing is the tool now it's magnetic you can see it's pretty compact it pulls apart super easy and um, the legs separate from each other and you got yourself a nice little tripod these hook to the handles and you can flip your bike over in fact the instructions are super simple pull apart the handlebar jacks which we did I'm just checking the instructions right here. Then you uh, open up the legs and tighten the cinch strap around your handlebars, and then you flip your bike over, and that's all there is to it. So let's get that set up. So I've already got them added to my Super 73 here. I didn't show setting them up because it's seriously the easiest thing. You just loosen the strap there, slide it over the handles, and separate the tripod. Now. What was nice about this is the strap was actually long enough to fit over my mirror so I didn't have to undo the strap fully. Very quick, very convenient. I'm excited over the most simplest thing. So let's get this bike flipped over. Got the bike flipped over crawling around in the grass with my dog Dewey, but let's see how this protects the components on the handlebars. So even though we got about an inch and a half to two inches of grass, we still have clearance here. That is my display, clearly off the ground, nice and protected. If that was cement, you obviously wouldn't want to rest this thing on cement. Then over here, we got the throttle protected. Uh, it's just lifted everything off the ground. Everything is just nice and protected. My bike is now in position to put this liner in the front tire here. I won't go into much detail about that in this video, but if you do need a tutorial on fixing a flat on a Super 73 or putting in a liner, then go ahead and click that video up there. I've already made one of those.
I got my tube liner in thanks to the handlebar jack. There you go. You can see how it just easily slides right off. And then when you're done with it, you just close it up just like that. And they slide together. Then when you're done with it, you just throw it in your tool bag along with all your other tools. So there you have it folks, the original handlebar jack. Now, I'm not affiliated with this company whatsoever. It was actually thanks to one of you viewers who turned me on to this company. So I'm gonna put their link in this description down below, the original handlebar jack. It's such a simple, compact idea. It's something that I can carry with me. Hopefully I don't have to use it too often. Now that I got my Mr. Tuffy liners in both tires, that'll protect against flats, but it will be something that I'll carry all the time because of how, there's a mosquito on me, uh, how compact this thing is. Now I do have a link to the Mr. Tuffy liners down below as well. And I have the Super 73 S2 and I can hook you up with $100 off again link in the description below and my special link here so if a super 73 is something that you want be sure to check it out using my link and get hooked up with 100 off i hope that you enjoyed this video if you did of course subscribe comment down below let me know what you think are you going to pick up one of these handlebar jacks i think they're right around 30 dollars. and of course if you like this video give it that thumbs up thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day